<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to The Darkest Wood, an indie horror game in which, again, I know nothing, but I'm going to find out and get into it. So, Darkest Woods, and everyone should know, I hate... Oh god, no. I hate the woods. I hate games that involve going in the woods. You wake up among the trees, there's blood on your head, but you can't find a wound. You're trying to understand what's happening, but your mind responds with silence. It's one of these games. Oh god, the click adventures, sort of. You see a tiny wooden shed on a hill. It doesn't look like a place for living, but you can clearly hear a baby crying. Great! I love crying children! Ah, the glade or the shed. Let's go in the shed and hope we don't... Is she rocking herself to sleep in the corner? You notice a pale, thin woman standing in the corner. Looks like she didn't notice you. Beside her, you see a pram, a cry is coming from it. Ah, uh, I have a bad thing about this. Like, usually, there's a game I remember playing a long time ago on the Amiga. I will have to try to remember the name of it. I'll, I'll put it in, like, in the subtitles here when I remember the name. But it was an Amiga game of Clicker Survival, and, at, like, when you touched a woman before, it was just, like, a skeleton it was creepy as shit. Hopefully she doesn't freak out when I click this. Oh. Crucifix. Crying is coming from the pram. You see a rusted crucifix. You can't locate a source of the sound. Well, at least she ran off and didn't just fucking kill me for disturbing the baby, which is not there. That would be a little spooky. Alright, well, pale woman disappeared. You must have heard her. F you must have? Yes, I did. I, I did. I, I mean, I guess I... Oh, see? I was right. That's right. Fucking with the woman's baby pissed her off. What? Uh, this continue not work? You just go. Doo -doo. I, I guess I'm going to the main menu. Let's try again. I I guess maybe I didn't. Let's let's just try this again. Okay. In the shed. <laughs> What? Okay, my paranoia of being around the dead woman is just like the goddamn game I was referencing that I could not remember the name for. Ugh. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore the shit altogether. Touching the crucifix fucks you over. Touching anything fucks you over. So I'm gonna have to find something to protect myself. What's in backpack? Nothing. Alright, fuck the shed. Fuck it. I'm not going in there unless I have something to protect myself. Go left. Ah. You gay your gaze presents overgrown glade. You discern an old well in the middle of it. Who might use it? People looking for water? Look into the well. Ah, oh, fuck that. Ah, sh w Double locked. Damn. Shit, that's well protected. Alright, look in the well. Maybe die again. A damp scent is coming from the well. Water is dark. Uh-oh. I couldn't even read it all before this popped up. What the hell? A pale arm surface from the water. You can see a palm. You can't reach with your bare hands. Jump in! <laughs> yeah, no. R oh god, reach the key. Watch. I'm going to die by reaching the key. Watch. You'll. You're trying to reach the key, but it's far too away. You'd better be careful. Try again. And then something pulls me in, right? <laughs> Yep. Alright, well, I'm going to now listen to my instincts and not do things that I feel like would fuck me over. So, I will let it so I look in the well and the key is seen, just in case that's like a scripted moment where it activates something else. I reach the key. Move away. Fuck the well. Um, and just fuck the shed, fuck the well, let's go forth. Oh, great. On the other side of the pass, you see a dark man. He is shaking. Maybe it's an optical illusion, but it looks like he has no hands. Well, I mean, it looks dangerous. I'm just gonna touch the baby. You pick up a mutilated doll. What a, a man will grow up from a kid to do such thing into toys. Hail the man? No! I'm just gonna hope he fucks off. I'm gonna go bring the baby to the crib to replace the crucifix and give the crucifix to the black guy. Go into the shed. Baby. Do I give it to her to put it in here? <laughs> Don't kill me, I'm trying to give you the baby! It's yours, right? Don't kill me. Okay. What I learned from that... She freaks out, doesn't find her baby. So I'm gonna put the baby in the fucking pram. 
I should, I've never heard of it called a prem before. I just call it a crib or something. Okay, right, go forth, baby. Go back. Go right. In the cottage. Go into the here. Go look in the pram. I'll pick this up. You hear a eerie laugh expecting the worst. You understand that nothing happened at all. You feel that doll's pupils has expanded. This is really creepy. You don't want to touch it anymore. I will take that advice. With the crucifix, hopefully it'll help me from the ghost outside, and she won't kill me. It seems that the woman disappeared. You can still sense her presence. Alright, so we survived. At least that. Now, you. Shit, which one is it clicked? Is this unclicked or is this clicked? Click. Yeah. You take the crucifix and the dark man starts to tremble. He literally turned into a cloud of black smoke and flew away. You're frightened. Now the, pla the path is free. I knew it. Okay. At least I'm protecting myself. Hail the man, my ass. The pass leads to an old mansion with the doors shut and windows boarded up. You thought that you have noticed a movement in one of the windows. It seems like if someone wanted to isolate this house from the world. Hmm. Go left. Stay away. By the way, here's a, a weirdly shaped crowbar. Left path leaves you with a mutilated dead body attached to a tree. A meat hook sticks out. Oh, it's not a meat. It's not a fucking crowbar. A meat hook sticks out of it. You see a note on it with the body. You're shaking. Behind a tree, you've seen endless woods. Well, I'll take the meat hook. Uh, oh, stay away. This is not the best thing to find in the cold, dark forest. I agree. Hopefully I don't die by picking up that note. Go back. I'm going to use the hook to get the key. Oh, whoops. Because I think the hook would be long enough. I'm fu- Back. Back. Left. Well. Yeah. I, I keep thinking, like, usually in these games you click where you want to go. Alright, so let's see. Hand, boop. A hook would be great, but it's too short. Really? It's it's too short? Hmm. A hook would do great, but it's too short. Okay, I guess I'll just find a way to extend it somehow, so... Screw that idea, I guess I'm gonna have to come back to this a little later. Let us go forth. Back to the new creepy-ass house. Welcome! That, that's a good welcome. You know, I'll just take it. You grab the rope and it slips into your hands easily. Looks like it's been here for a very long time. Aha! Combined. The key. So the key will go to here. Not like that's really inviting at all, but... I'm gonna see if the front door is okay. Never mind, I can't go in the front door. Fuck that idea. Alright, so... Back. Left. Well. 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 And... You pick up the key. It all... Goosebumps. I'm just gonna move away before the thing possibly comes and reaches out and kills me again. That'd be really shitty. Now to go to the cellar, as welcoming as it is. Uh, it's not really welcoming. I, I don't want to go down there. Let's see. Uh, old doors led to the basement and shortly closed after you stepped in. You see a silhouette that appears. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah! Fuck you! He tried to attack me again, then I impaled him like a fuse a fucking vampire with a crucifix. Woods family in. We are always open. So why is this kid's not maybe this kid's face isn't blacked out? This family photo looks like a, some kind of a hotel. Faces seem to be spoiled, but you can see the boy's face. It looks familiar. Plot twist, it's me. Dun dun dun. And late Shyamalan story. There's no obstacle. Now the path is open. You don't say. Go forth. Mm, darkness throws you a vivid hall, as you thought. The door is barricaded from the inside. Someone left a hat on the rack. Okay, well, I'll... A week passed since Mr. Woods hired me as a janitor. Woods Inn, located far, far away from the city, and this is just perfect. Mr. Woods is great, lad. He allows me to keep my hat on at home. He doesn't ask much questions. It's weird that he hired me, especially after I... This should be capitalized, but I insisted to keep my hat on, even inside. He wasn't asking much about my past, he believed in me. Wish there were more people like him. I got janitor's closet as my own private room. It's pretty cozy, Woods Inn can't fit much visitors, so there's no reason for me to complain. Finally, I'm safe, they won't be- f won't find me here. Interesting. Map. Okay. Let's see, 101 is reception, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to remember these numbers. 
I'll try all three of them. I'm sure the, there's a phone at the reception, so let's just try that out. Look to the right. Another map. Oh, fuck me. Uh-oh. Uh, medical box. Great! Phone! 911! 911. Well! No! That was in Russian. Uh, 101. Let's try 101. No. Let's try 205. That's probably what I have to do. I feel like the longer I stay in this room, uh, is more of a chance for me to die. I'll just try 201, 202, and 203 then. Let's see. Anything on this one? No. 201, 202, and 203. Because the cell phone... Uh, cell phone, Jesus Christ. The phone has to be used for some purpose. 201. No, fuck. 201. Someone has to answer. That's at least what I'm thinking. 202? Nope. And 203. Waste of time. Maybe another time. Crutches? No. Go upstairs, I guess. There's... I need a lock to open. You grab a compact broom. It definitely can't be used as a weapon. A quiet code or you hear a mouse. You have to move on. I have to move on? You hear a weak knock. Okay, there's too many messages happening at once. He's like... You don't want to know who lives in 202. Which one's 202? Stop changing the... Jesus. Okay, so I don't want to go into 202. I have to move on. Uh, janitor's room. Locked. Uh, dining room. Bathroom. Bathroom's always evil, so I don't have a good, uh... uh well, at least it has water. It looks cloudy. It's not best idea to drink it. Good idea. Toilet. Done! Damn it! There's a rotten head in the tub! <laughs> Damn, I was gonna take a fucking shower. Who the fuck is this? Ah... Uh... Who the fuck would be this rude to leave a head in the toilet? No, no, not the toilet. In the bathtub! Can I take it? Well, a wall is damaged. You see if... if it's sad. It smells horrible. You cover your nose. Um... Is there anything for me to take in here? Has water. The brush. Shower. Shower. Windows. I... Is, is this all? Uh, okay. Can I take the bucket? Why can't I take the bucket? Oh, wait, wait, what, what? Strange nose, what? 310, lobby, first floor. I don't remember seeing these numbers, but... Maybe they'd be used for the suitcase outside if it was four numbers. I'll have to double check that, I'm sure. 201. I'm just hoping I don't, like, wait, can I save? Save, yes, okay, shit. This might have to be multiple episode series, I guess. A small room, it's cold here, but smells good. Pictures on the walls, you see a recorder beside the bed. This room is quiet and calming. Replica of the... I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. It's hanging crookedly, it'd be better to place it right. Never mind about fixing, I'm just... fuck it. Oh, jeez. I'm not gonna know the combination of that. A scalpel. Rusty but sharp. Uh, some kind of symbol. What's this? This is a modern type recorder. It can play back records. Doesn't seem to have wires or batteries, but a light indicates that it is on. Okay. You pick up the old tape. Looks like it was recorded here. A week passed since my arrival. This place is just a treasure for paranormal activity research. I asked for a room that once were used by a crazy woman with a child. She was in the newspaper. This place carries a unique atmosphere. We've made a good friendship with Mary Woods. Mr. Woods should probably pay more attention. I brought my telescope with me and we often observe stars in the night with Mary. Mr. Woods doesn't appreciate this and locks a dining room every night, but we have a spare key. 
We usually hide it in a toilet bank. Ah, toilet bank. Thank you, recorder. Thank you for just blatantly... Why record that? What, what, I don't know. That's, let's go to the bathroom and pick that up. Now I'm probably going to... Dining room. Okie dokie. I'm going to save it here. I'm going to have to say this is the end of the episode. I'm going to figure out if these notes are for the safe outside. Um, it'd be awkward going back out there. It's pretty far right now. I'd have to go back in the cellar and back outside and then Eh, it's not too far, but you know what I mean. Either way, so this has been The Darkest Woods, an indie horror game that involves a click and survival. So it's kind of interesting. I've not played one of these yet for a long time. Not since Newgrounds used to host them a lot, but it's been a long time since I've been on Newgrounds. So either way, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you do, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next episode, I have the chef hat that I was talking about before. The chef. It looks fabulous. Like, if I put it on my head, on top of my toque, on top of my headset, you might be able to see its glory. When Robocop 1, 2, 1 and 2 came, first came out. Holy shit! It ran me over!